today is actually two shortcuts. So it's uh, shortcuts that we can use inside of the Edge browser. And so the Edge browser has a wonderful thing called Immersive Reader built right in. And what Immersive Reader does is it allows you to go to any website or thing where the actual Immersive Reader icon is. You'll see it up here. And when you're on that website, it will actually read it to you. Um, and I'll show you some of the features that it does have in there. But the quick way to get it is if you see that icon, instead of having to move your mouse all the way up, because that's what the shortcuts are about. It's just making it easier for you and more efficient. You could just be sitting here reading and be like, you know what? I'm going to hit F9 here. And when I hit F9, it's going to change. There we go. It's going to change into the immersive reader. So now we're looking at the screen and it's showing in large text. So I'm just scrolling here, but you can see now it's cleaned it up. It's using this background that's a different color here and it's changed the spacing on the text for easier reading. Um, so right away it makes it a, a much more pleasant reading experience. But there's more that I can do with it. So if I go up to the top here, um, of course I have a read aloud and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, you have your text preferences. You can vary the size and the spacing that you want. Um, so there is a text spacing you turn on and off. You can also add different color themes. So you can see it changes the color background. If you'd rather have a white one, you can. I kind of prefer the black. It's a little easier on my eyes. Um, and then I can see here the next steps is you can look at grammar tools. I like showing syllabification. That shows you how to kind of um, pronounce words. So you can see kind of these dots are in between. And then you can turn on parts of speech. So if you want to be able to see all the nouns, they're going to show them in purple there. And you can change the color, verbs, and so forth. Um, I wish they actually had the nouns here in black because that would follow along with the Montessori um, black triangle. But, you know, this is the best we can do, um, especially if you're on a black uh, screen. It would probably have to be the opposite, be white, so that would, might be confusing. But anyway, um, but all the other colors I've kind of arranged to be a part of that. So I could show any of those. So now I'm actually seeing parts of speech and then of course the labels here. So, um, which is nice because then I can see that. Now that's just under grammar tools. Then I go to reading preferences and I can do what is called a line focus. And so now it focuses on either kind of a paragraph itself or three lines or one. And so that way it's much easier to focus on the reading. And so it gives it to me in little chunks here. Um, then the last part that I want to show you is that you can use this uh, board maker before I do the reading. And so with the board makers, let's change it off of this line focus so you can see everything. The board maker, I can choose things that are objects. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder what this word is, you know. Um, so I click on it, and whenever you see that little, um, it looks like a wand with a star on it. When you see that, there's a picture. So I can go to any different things, and it will have, if the wand shows up, it will have a picture. And so even verbs, it doesn't have to be nouns, will have a picture that will kind of demonstrate. And it's using board maker to do that. Um, but you can see there's lots of things that I can pick up and choose so I actually can see what that word is and that might make better sense. So all of that's done. Now I'm going to actually have it read to me. So I'm going to do the read aloud right here. But instead of clicking up here, there's a there's a function that you can do right inside the web, uh, the Edge browser. It's Control, Shift, and the letter U. So it's a default and it will start reading. Join students the around the world in the first ever Minecraft Education Global Build and Championship. So you can see it's highlighting as it's reading. October 3rd, 2020. Through. Build Challenge. And if I scroll down, you can see it kind of follow Challenge, along. Contest, Minecraft, Education Edition. And it'll continue and jump down to. Over the past the nine months, we've so seen wild. Pause. It stops it and takes it back. But I could be listening to that at my own pace. I do have some voice options, which could slow it down. I could listen to a number of different native voices. So again, really cool tool just by using F9 in the, in the browser when you see that immersive reader and then playing it with Control Shift and the letter U. Now, the other thing you can do in the immersive reader areas. I'm going to go back up to turn off the voice options and go to reading preferences. 
And I'm going to change this down here. Instead of translating it all to Chinese, um, excuse me, one word to Chinese, I'm going to do the entire document. So now what it'll do is it'll take that entire document and put it all in Chinese. And then and click here. And let's say I want it read. And so now I click the read. 与世界各地的学生一起参加有史以来第一届 Minecraft 教育全球建设锦标赛。At any time, hit the space bar. And it'll stop, and then you hit the space bar. 二零二零年十月三日，建 You might might want to use Control Shift U also. 建设挑战比赛，我的世界教育版。Too. Um. So you have all of those options, but just much easier experience than having to move your mouse and trying to find the right spots and do things. Now let's look at a different way of doing this. So let's、uh, close this option here and. I am going to go over to Microsoft Forms. If you've never used Microsoft Forms, it also uses the Immersive Reader. And so right now you're going to see, oh, there's no Immersive Reader button up here, so there's no F9 to press. However, you can see in the title there's the Immersive Reader. I go down to the question, and it also does for the possible answers. So when I click on it, it will bring up the Immersive Reader. And so. That's it right there. There's a play button down at the bottom, but if I just hit Control Shift U, guess what? One、it、starts playing. This.、But、wait a second. It's a little bit different. Statement. Up in the browser area. Belongs. Stop. There's this black bar, and it's、two. saying it's actually reading aloud. A. Because what it's doing is it's reading、Philosophy. the entire page. Talent.、Um, so that Control Shift U、and、reads the browser page and everything that's in it. I wanted to one、um, pause it. It's, as you notice, it's not doing the same thing as I did earlier because I'm in the kind of this、uh, this form itself, and the form is just focusing on just、uh, this question. So I'm better off hitting the play button here. One, this statement belongs to a philosophy. I can still use the stop philosophy with the, with the、uh, space bar, and then if I philosophy play again, hit play talent again, and intelligence are things that、and、I have all those same tools that I had earlier. With the text preferences, grammar options, and the reading preference, so all of that is still available.、Um, you can also control the voice settings, male and female, and the speed. So if I get out of Immersive Reader, there it is. What's also nice is inside Forms, if you click on Mobile, it has the Immersive Reader built in there too. And so, at any time, you can click on it and use it. So、Quiz about、button. growth mindset,、and、Nick. So, tools for today to be able to do these shortcuts. Remember, in your Edge browser, go ahead and hit that F9 key, and it takes it from Immersive Reader to not Immersive Reader, and back and forth. So it toggles that. And then, if you just want the page to be read, even this right here, I could have it be read to me without going into Immersive Reader using Control Shift and the letter U. And now、Blog. it's going to start reading.